Let me use this diagram to show you the role of a database in a modern day information system. When you try to register for a class through an enrollment program, or when you get a paycheck from your payroll system of your company, or when you go online and try to order a few books from Amazon's website, behind the scene, uh, they are databases. And the software tool that we use to manage databases is called Database Management System, DBMS for short. And most of the modern day database um, is based on a technology called relational database. And but since relational database is so common, we we seldom use the term uh, relational database or RDBMS uh, for its software nowadays. And as you can see, uh, most of the user um, are using the database through some kind of application software a website, an ERP system, payroll system, etc. And they need to actually interact, this system need to interact with DBMS, database management system, in order to manage, maintain the data stored in databases. And the program and the DBMS are communicating with each other through something called structural query language. So basically, you will formulate a SQL statement and go through the DBMS in order to uh, maintain, retrieve data from the database. Another way that user may interact with the database is through um, some kind of a query or reporting tool um, still need to go through the DBMS in order to interact with the database. Usually this is for ad hoc query or some customized reporting requirement. Most of the database has some built-in query tool uh, such that a user can use it directly. And, but most likely users are going to use some third-party query reporting tool and to interact with the database management system in order to access the data stored in the database behind the scene. A lot of time you will find out that the IT department may become so busy and, and a lot of the application that has been developed may not uh, anticipate some of your data need in this case, you actually have to use this direct interaction to talk to the database to get the data out of it uh, in order to get your job done. A person or group of um, experts who will help you to manage um, the databases um, by using the DBMS is called DBA, Database Administrator. And if you want to develop, design, and develop an information system with a database backend, usually you will involve a database designer or data model to help you to design the structure of a database. Let's look at um, what really constitute a database. A database is a collection of table. Uh, let's look at an example of a table here. This is a very simple table of a list of course. We have a course ID, we have title of the course, and the, the course fee that we're going to charge. And so table basically are column and row. Um, for each of the column, we store similar type of data, and each row represents a record um, corresponding, in this case, a specific course. As I mentioned, the database is a collection of table. 
Um, what's unique about relational database is that most of this table are related to each other. Um, in this, let me use this course offering table as an example. Uh, we have a course list in our catalog, but every semester we may list, um, we may offer sometimes multiple sections of the same course. Uh, so for instance, this intro to C++ course has been, we have actually three sections <coughs> and offer in Loudoun campus and Rockvale campus. And, and this instructor ID is the instructor's identifier um, who, who teach um, these courses. And the two table are related um, by some common field or common column. So this is course ID. So uh, if, if you look at it, I know this course has three sections because they have the same course ID. And this common field is a way for us to build uh, the relationship among tables that we store in a relational database. So this concludes our uh, brief introduction of database. Thank you.